Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love readings. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys in regards to love and romance. We're going to be doing the tarot right after that. We're going to be pulling out some oracle cards. And lastly, we're going to see what Spirit's message is in regards to your love situation. So let's get into it. Taurus, how are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month remaining of March 2021 for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we have the Six of Swords walking away from a situation for some of you guys. Travel may be involved here. All right. Let's see. Your next card here is the Moon card. So there is a bit of confusion here. Um, for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where you feel like you're not in control of the situation or you feel that there's a lot of uncertainty. Uh, the Six of Swords could be intuitively picking up that you need to walk away from the situation. However, the Moon has you a bit confused, a bit in your feelings. We have the Hierophant here. This is your card, Taurus. Uh, this can also represent feeling feeling like there's certain things about this relationship that perhaps you've invested too much effort too much energy for some of you guys this is a marriage a lot has gone into this working this relationship out uh for some of you guys you were hoping for some type of commitment you may be dealing with fire energy leo sagittarius aries type of energy uh we have the devil card here this could also be a capricorn this is the uh, ruling sign of, or sorry, the planet of Saturn. So you guys may be dealing with a situation where the person that you've invested so much time in, so much effort, could be potentially either obsessed with overworking. Um, they can have addictive type of energy um this could be alcohol this could be drugs this could be sex itself um and i feel that you've like i said you've put a lot of effort into this situation taurus with the emperor card um this is a person that could be very domineering or very protective um and with the king of wands here i feel very strongly that like, this is a very strong personality or very strong individual it's like they want to have you under their thumb. If you've been dealing with this type of situation, um, what they're saying here is it, it's time to stop making excuses and it's time to start taking action. Um, you cannot hopeful or hopefully wait for something to change without you actually taking the steps to change or to create some type of change in your life. Um, I see very toxic energy. I'm not going to lie. We have the tower here too. So major transformative energy, the Empress card. Some of you guys, there could have been an ending to a relationship, uh, a divorce, uh, the Hermit card here. So you guys have a lot of major arcanas. I feel that you guys are dealing with a lot of karmic cycles for the majority of some of you guys. You may be dealing with situations where uh, you feel like it's out of your control because technically you it is out of your control. When we have major arcanas, we're talking about things that are happening um, that have more to do with planetary alignments as well as uh, things of karmic nature, uh, experiences and lessons. Um, what they're telling you is for some of you guys, there could have been a situation where in the past perhaps there was um, in absence of a father or mother figure. Now, when I say absence, it doesn't necessarily mean that your father or your mother wasn't present in your life. However, there wasn't an emotional connection there with one of the parental figures. Um, and I feel that you, you've gone about life seeking a certain type of security when it comes to love and when it comes to romance. Unfortunately, you have a tendency of connecting with people that are emotionally detached or that are extremely closed off. Um, for some of you guys, it's almost like you've convinced yourselves of being introverts um, to kind of balance out the energy of the partners that you have a tendency of pulling towards you. 
but I'm going to be honest with you here with the devil card, the moon and the tower. It could represent that the people that you've either been with or dated or currently are dating may come off as a bit mysterious. But in reality, these are sneaky people. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, and being sneaky is not a bad thing if you're being mysterious, but being sneaky in itself um, speaks to me about double lives. It speaks to me about people that suppress certain sexual tendencies here. Uh, it speaks about people that have not came into the understanding of who they truly are. So what that means is that you are accepting or dealing with people that have not wanted to address certain issues in their lives, certain toxic traits about themselves. And you lose yourself in this relationship because you invest too much into it or you give too much into it. Now, for those of you guys that have had a separation, what Spirit is telling you here is do not resist these changes. There is a need. And although it may seem difficult, although it may seem like it's very life-changing and it could be a little too much. What Spirit is telling you is that this is a breakthrough because we have the Tower and the Empress. This is talking about oh, yeah. having to shake yeah. your life for your soul's purpose to ascend, meaning bring out the best in you. Find out or figure out how strong you really are, how abundant you're able to to be or how much of success you can actually attain without dealing with partners that either drag you down or try to keep you in secrecy or try to keep you away from your people away from your tribe away from friends because their sole purpose is to be in control to have you under their thumb so you need to let go of this type of energy Taurus if you've been dealing with this type of energy, you need to put a stop to it because it is hindering your progress. It is holding you down from the best that you can possibly be. If you've detached yourself from this situation and this person is still surrounding you or still communicating with you, do not fall for it, okay? Do not fall for that. You are going into another cycle in your life and it is best that you, since you've outgrown this situation, it is best not to entertain it anymore. Now, whoops, we have the I lied to you. Felt this very strongly. I feel like um, your person or the person you're dealing with or the person you have been dealing with hasn't been completely honest about who they are. There are certain secrets, certain things, certain skeletons in the closet. I've never used to look at you in that way. I never used to look at you in that way. So this could be almost like if you've gotten to the point in this connection where you wonder or you question if they ever really loved you, perhaps it wasn't lust or it wasn't love. Perhaps it was lust. Perhaps it was the wanting to attain you. For some of you guys, you were extremely free spirited at some point. And that could have been what attracted them to you. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it was love. Love could be interpreted in many different ways. I pretend that I don't care. I feel this is your energy, Taurus. I feel that for some of you guys, you've gotten to the point where you feel like you are not wanting to deal with this or you're not wanting to deal with this person no longer. But I feel that there is obviously still some feelings there. I feel that perhaps you're not being honest with yourself. There's nothing wrong with acknowledging that we still have feelings for someone or even if they've been an extreme scumbag um, to us. Uh, it doesn't mean that the love that was there, you know, goes away. It doesn't. It could be transformed. You know, love can turn into hate. But what they're saying here is, with the I pretend I don't care, this could represent your energy, but it can also represent how your partner is viewing the separate the situation, especially those of you guys that have had a separation. They may be acting like it doesn't affect them, but it does. Specifically, it affects them because now they're going to come to the root awakening that not everyone's going to do what they ask them to do or not everyone's going to put up with their BS. Now, your spirit's message here is we have 25. So this is relationships, this is a contract, this is a bond, this is a vow. And what they're speaking about here is 
the moment you're able to release yourself from those toxic energies or situations or partners that are not bringing up the best in you, once you're able to take that plunge and to put, learn to put yourself first, you will be able to find or you will be able to attract or you will meet a new person that's coming into your life that is predestined to come into your life that is going to not only help you heal, but also see the worthiness in you. All right, Taurus, I hope that this gives you guys some type of insight, some type of guidance, um, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.